All right, so we're here with the big rock and the vortex. Eh, so far the big rock still wins out for me. It's a lot. I don't know. It's just a blast to drive. The, the vortex does handle better and a couple mile an hour faster, but eh, it just doesn't have the same appeal as the big rock does. So I decided to try to make. I don't know, better version of all of them. We combined a lot of the 3S parts and see if we could make something from scratch that would uh, be better than both of them. So I went to a local hobby shop to buy another big rock to start with, but of course they don't, nobody has them. They uh, seem to disappear within a day of being restocked pretty much anywhere online in the hobby shops so eh, next time when they come again I'll buy another one so while I was there though I picked up another another vortex and I was gonna I don't know stretch the chassis on this maybe use most of the parts out of it and Eh, have some fun with it see if I can make something better then I was like man eh, why would we cut up and basically uh, mess with a brand new car so and I have a bunch of the parts and stuff laying around so so we're gonna start the parts list with the new uh, Copperhead limited edition 3200 4S setup. Um, so we'll put this in it. Definitely going to run the, the uh, long wheelbase chassis. RPM arms, so definitely gonna run the uh, the uh, long fronts. And then I have long and the short rears. I haven't decided yet which ones of these I'm gonna use. Probably, probably the longs. Give it a little wider stance. Um, I think these are off of, what are they off of, a Typhon? The long ones are Typhon. The short ones are basically Big Rock, Granite, Sentin, all those other uh, other ones. So that'll probably be where we start with those. Went to uh, Jen's RC, ordered a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Got a set of uh, the real short Vortex shocks try to lower it down a little bit so we get the stance something like that probably make it a bit faster a little more stable then or got this off of Gen RC also the you know the plastic kit where it comes with uh, receiver box um, shock towers skid plates body mounts and then the hinge pins and a bunch of other good stuff in there it's always to have a couple of these laying around. I'm pretty sure this was for a Vortex also. I have another one down here. I don't remember if this was Typhon or something else. Got a couple of steering racks. Um, and then we have the uh, Typhon hexes and drive shafts so i don't know if i'm gonna use go with the 14 millimeter hex or the 17 millimeter um and we have our uh v3 adjustable uh motor plate add that to the pile and then a uh steel slipper set throw that in there so we don't have any issues and, 
drive shaft bearings because I can't Jen's RC or pretty much anybody didn't have the uh, drive shaft in stock that had the bearings and the little center brace I think I have a center brace in a bin over there I have like a whole plastic tote full of other used 3s stuff and then we got um drive shaft kit that has the long and the short so we're going to be using the long we're using a long wheelbase chassis and then for wheels uh, i'll see if i can grab them they had the um vortex wheels in stock so i grabbed uh two packages of these we could start with those those are obviously the 14 millimeter hex and I also found these Duratrax Benditos 14 millimeter hex so I think these would be fun on the street try these out And then I have literally loads of 17 millimeter different wheels to choose from hanging out up there. So no shortage of that stuff. Um, oh, I forgot. I've got big rock bumpers. I don't. I haven't found any of the Vortex ones yet. So maybe I'll add those if I can find them. I do have um, another box coming from. Uh, Jen's RC that has, uh, I think it was two diffs. Uh, what else was I missing? Um, oh, the full set of uh, the short arms because the Vortex comes with short front and rear arms. So I think I got a couple of those. I ordered, I ordered some other stuff from there too. I just don't remember what it was off the top of my head. But I Oh, I ordered the, the knuckle assemblies with the bearings and everything in them. Make my life easier. Um, I got new ones in the package, but then you got to assemble them all and do all that other nonsense. So I just got a assembled set of hubs. Um, like I said, I got tons of drive shafts, new ones. Uh, oh, that's another body mount set. There's all kinds of stuff in there. So I'm pretty sure that I have everything I need to make a pretty pretty cool 3S uh, combination vortex slash big rock. Um, so we can call it the big tex or the uh, uh, war rock. <laughs> Either one. Might have a little typhon in it too. We'll see. <laughs> 